In today's video, I'm going to show you really quickly how to change your document space in your InDesign file to RGB or back to CMYK, whichever the case may be. It seems a little bit confusing at first, but yeah, I, I kind of stumbled upon the answer and I thought, you know what, I couldn't find the answer. Maybe you are having the same problem I'm having. So just a bit of context, I'm doing this in Adobe InDesign version 16.3.2. Some of the older versions, they have the setting in the document uh, when you create the document, that document profile panel, this one doesn't. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. I do apologize for my lack of intro. I recently got divorced. Um, don't feel sorry for me. I'm actually much happier without, <laughs> without my ex-husband. He unfortunately has all my files, <laughs> as in like my digital files. So until I get that back from him, there will be no intro because I put a lot of work into that intro. I'm not going to remake it just yet. So yeah, guys, let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I've got my, my two little logos at the bottom here and they look really ugly. Like what is that purple even? It's just gross. It's because the document is currently in CMYK. InDesign's standard default document profile is CMYK. So to change it, all you have to do, super simple, go to edit, scroll all the way down to transparency blend space and then select the document profile you want, either RGB or CMYK. In my case, I want RGB. And instantly, that purple looks so good. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's it. It's that simple. I hope this video helped you. I know it was really quick, just how I like it. And I'm sorry for the, the ding sounds in the background. Ever since the rioting, your phone doesn't stop. So I do apologize for that. I probably should have put that on silent, but I did not. My bad. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe and share this video if it was helpful. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.